Anyways, there are a lot of materials without thickness. In 2004, there was only one. Graphene is hexagonal in shape and built from carbon. It is only one atom thick, making it about one million times thinner than a human hair and effectively two-dimensional. Though graphene is royalty, its origins are base. It was found in a piece of scotch tape ripped from graphite using naught but an optical microscope. This dragged graphene from the realm of dubious theory into the world of the unmistakably real and brought discoverers Gaim and Novoselev into the prestigious company of the Nobel Laureate. Graphene is a material best described in superlatives. It is the strongest material in the world, one famous prediction suggesting a sheet of one meter squared would make a suitable hammock for a domestic house cat. Graphene's conductive properties are also without peer. It transports electrons at negligible resistances and impossible speeds. Tenacious investigation is only like to reveal further fantastical features. I work with magnetic objects. In a vacuum, these objects interact via their magnetic fields, whereas in a metal, their interaction is propagated by the scattering of inconsiderate electrons. In graphene, a semi-metal, the interaction devolves into a smorgasbord of unfettered insanity. <laughs> In a world hell-bent on placating the baying capitalist jackals, graphene is a steadfast ally. Its immense strength sees it as the natural heir to carbon fiber, leading the charge in the future of light aircraft and bulletproof apparel. However, graphene's true potential likely lies in the field of integrated circuits. Here, its unparalleled conductivity may be coupled with its vanishing thinness and unique magnetic properties to carve forth a bright path in computing. Each step on this road brings us closer to that terrible finality where man merges with machine to birth a new breed of flesh and iron into this barren, unforgiving universe. <laughs>